Okay, so the question is, when should you raise your prices for lawn care? Uh, quick, simple answer is, best time to do it is in the spring. Uh, when they're in highest demand, okay? So when it's time when the grass is growing like crazy and they need somebody to mow that, that's the time you need to raise them. You need to do it right away. So here's what I do is a good example. It's February, it's the middle of February. I'm going through all my accounts right now and we're looking because our trucks are GPS so I know how long it takes to do these certain jobs and I know that I have to that I'm shooting for this 20% profit margin okay so what I'm doing right now is I go through every account and I look at them and I say am I making enough money here on this specific individual so good example is uh, of when you should raise them if you realize at the end of the year you guys if you're looking at your bank account this time of year in February and there's not much money in it you need to do something different so there's things you need to do and the first thing is you got to get your prices right so that's what we're talking about today but the other thing is you have to make sure that when you you're as efficient as you possibly can be okay so there's ways to make money if your guys are going out and they're mowing 15 properties a day or 12 properties a day that's not efficient okay you're paying out a lot of money in labor you need to get more jobs out of those guys those guys have to be efficient so uh, if you've watched any of my other videos we we made our trucks as efficient as we possibly can we're not pushing a lawnmower on these jobs which would take forever to do and uh, we're coming in there with these stand-ons these small 36 inch gravely stand-ons and we're pounding these lawns out okay so on average our guys are doing 20 lawns uh, residential every day so if they had to do it with push mowers, they'd be doing 10 lawns a day, you know, and they'd be wore out. So um, a lot of things go into that, but raising your prices, here's how you raise them. And you you know, you're going to run across this where you have to raise your prices. You guys have to face the reality that if you're looking at your bank account right now and there's not much money in there, you've got to do something different. And if you've made yourself efficient, that's one way. You can make yourself efficient and now you can make more money because you're, you're, you're streamlining everything. Everything is fast, just bam, 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 you know, uh, versus taking your push mower and, you know, take it forever to do these jobs, you know, just one example, okay? Um, the other example could be maybe you guys need to get in there and you need to get going, fuel them up at night so as soon as the guys get there in the morning, they're out of there like a rocket and you don't have to waste a half an hour at the gas station, things like that. There's a million things you can do, but let's talk about the raising of the prices. now. You need to talk to your clients, and this is how I approach my clients. I'll walk up to them and say, Mrs. Jones, um, we love working for you. You're a fantastic client of ours. You know, Really put the sugar on. Let them know that, that it's important, that what you're doing is important, okay? Having them is important. So as you let them know that, that's the first thing, because now their guard comes down and they appreciate you and they'll tell you, well, you know, hey, we appreciate you also. And that's when you tell them, you say, look, we've had some cost increases. Our insurance has gone through the roof. Um, you know, a lot of can't use the gasoline prices right now in 2016 because they're down so low, but that would be another thing that I use. And they're gonna go back up, so don't forget to use it then. But um, just all your expenses, your labor, this, that, and the other, explain to them why you have to raise your prices. Say, I'm not making enough money to, to provide for my family and I through the winter and I've gotten as efficient as I can at doing this, but the labor charges, the insurances, uh, the cost of equipment has just gone through the roof, and I've got to somehow raise my prices a little bit with everybody across the board so that I can get to making a profit here so we have enough money to live through the winter. I'm not asking to get rich off you, Mrs. Jones, but I do have to go up a little bit, okay? So once you explain that to her, and, and I'm a big advocate of going up a little bit every couple of years you know every two three years uh, don't make a big jump if you look at it right now and say holy crap I'm doing that lawn for 20 bucks and man I just you know I need to be at 30 if you go to jump them to 30 they're probably gonna look for somebody else okay so no matter how good a job you do sometimes people still there are customers you have to realize that are just gonna go for that low dollar bid that being said those are the customers that you do not want. You don't want those cheapskate, tight-ass customers because you're never gonna get extras from them. 
they're not, I mean, what are they worth to you? You know, when they're so tight and, and they might complain about things, uh, all kinds of things. Who knows? They could become just a headache customer. Headache customers I especially raise because I don't care if I lose them or not just because they're such a headache, okay? So that being said, don't be afraid to raise the customers. If you explain to them why you're doing it, a lot of times you can convince them to stay. But be prepared to lose some. Okay, and don't ever think that, God, I can't lose any customers. Jesus, I'm trying to build my business up. Yeah, you can lose them if you do things right. Okay, for example, if you get your internet up and going and you get your all your marketing strategies in order, you're going to get your door hangers out to, to produce X many new customers. Uh, you're going to do flyers. You might do postcards. You There's a million things, ads in the paper, ads in the phone book, um, internet. There's a million things you can do to get more clients, okay? So... Um, that's actually a good idea for another show, so I'll put one on about that. So anyway, that's my take on how you raise your prices and when you raise your prices. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Now, let me tell you this, if you want any more clips, if you want to watch some of our videos, I've got all of my videos stored on our websites, and those links are right down below. So talk to you later. Thanks.